you got the chance to launch your own news channel now. A few weeks ago, I stumbled upon some really cool info about AI anchors and how big news networks are starting to use AI in their operations. I dug a little deeper and found something even more mind-blowing. A news channel run entirely by AI reporters and voiceovers. Hello and welcome to Channel One, a new way of consuming, reporting, and thinking about the news powered by artificial intelligence. A few months ago, a video surfaced on internet claiming to showcase the world's first AI-generated news presenters. Channel One features a blend of fully AI-generated reporters and what they call digital doubles. This news network named Channel One is set to fully launch in 2024. The days of needing actual anchors, reporters, and physical studio to run a news channel are over now. In this AI-driven world, pulling off such a feat takes hardly any effort. My surprise was only matched by my curiosity about how I could use this to my advantage. Then it hit me. Why not start a YouTube news channel that completely AI generated? The CPM for news channels on YouTube are pretty high and it is really good and news is always in demand for updates. All that was left was to figure out how to make it happen. After a few hours of researching and planning, here I am presenting you how to start a news YouTube channel using AI. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. First, you need to create a YouTube channel and I'm sure you know how to do that. It's super easy. Let's grab a channel name from ChatGPT and let's think through, do some research and here yeah, let's say I like this one. And now if you want to create a logo for your channel, just check out Bing Image Creator or you can use any AI image generating software. You can give it a prompt to design a news channel logo that fits your style. Personally, I'm a fan of minimalist designs, so I like to keep it cool and simple. Now that our channel is all set up, let's jump into making our first video together. First, we need to gather the latest news for our video. I was browsing Google and came across this article, Google's AI-generated search summaries change how they show their sources. Remember, always aim for trendy and eye-catching news if you want your videos to do well and go viral. If you pick something outdated or not very interesting, then your video might not get the views you are hoping for. And now let's chat about the tool we will be using today to create our videos. It's called Vidnos AI. This tool is an excellent AI video generator with features like AI voiceover, talking avatars, voice cloning, and tons of pre-made video templates that are perfect for YouTube or TikTok. The best part? It's free and super easy to use. I know we all are thinking about and asking for a niche or idea that isn't too crowded but still has potential for success on YouTube. Well, here it is. The YouTube news channel trend is still pretty underexplored with only a handful of channels diving into it. This makes it a great time to jump in and take advantage of being ones of the first. Alright, now let's back into the news article we found. We'll start by taking the first sentence and putting it right here in this text box to see how it looks. You can just slide over to the right and hit that play button. The AI overviews in Google search will show source websites to the right. If you want to change anything on the screen like the text or image, it's super simple. Just click on what you want to edit. First, let's change the headline. I'll go back to the article, grab the title and I'm going to paste it right here. You can even switch it to your channel name if you want. And now let's swap out the image for something that fits better. I'll select this area and click upload icon and bring in the cover image from the article. Make sure it matches well with your background. And also you can add your channel logo by uploading it from this option. If you're using the AI presenter, you can adjust her appearance or move her around the screen. You can pretty much customize everything here. And now let's move on to the scene 2, we'll do the same thing. I'll grab the next piece of text from the article and paste it in. And now let's update the headline text as well. And this time I think we need a new background image so I'm going to find something perfect one for this. And now I think the subtitles are hard to see at the bottom so I'm moving them to the center. If you want to make the transition between scenes smoother, just click here and set it up. And now I'm thinking about duplicating this scene and now I'm going to check out the scenes on the left and just hit those three dots 
and select duplicate time. And now I'll going to grab more lines from the article and change the background to a fitting image. And by the way, I'm sourcing all these images from Google and other stock image softwares like Pixabay, Pexels. If we want to mix in some different scenes, just go to the scenes tab. Here you can click on the plus sign and now head to the top left corner to select stocks. You will find tons of pre-made templates here. And now you can just search for news and you can browse through and pick any one you like. And once you find one, you can add specific scenes from it to your project. And now let's customize this template to make it our own. First, I'm going to change the color of this bar to match the one from the first scene. I'll copy the color code and paste it here. And let's also tweak some smaller details to keep our branding consistent across all scenes. Remember, branding is important. And now I'm going to adjust the subtitles for better visibility. And you know how we do it by now. And now let's update the text with the next part of the article. And now I'm planning to create more scenes using the same steps, pulling the script and images from the article and Google. I'll speed up the whole process and let's straightly jump into the final result. And that was quite a workout. All the scenes are set. All right, I'm about to hit generate and get this video rolling. And now let's check out what we have put together. The AI overviews in Google search will show source websites to the right and a new experiment is also adding links directly in the text. As Google brings AI overviews to six new countries, it's also changing the way the generated summaries display citations. Instead of putting relevant web pages directly in the AI-generated summary, Google is adding a new display to the right of the response that shows cited web pages more prominently. Okay, it's pretty wild to see how much AI has advanced allowing us to whip up news videos like this with just a laptop and a little bit of smart effort. And here's another thing, Witness AI has introduced something really cool, voice cloning. If these 400 plus AI voices aren't cutting it for you, now you can make your own voice clone. Just follow the steps to record a sample of your voice and then you can upload it here and it will create your clone voice for you to use later. And now let's head over to the Tools tab. Here Widnos is packed with ton of AI features like AI talking photos, AI face swapping, AI video translation, text to video and so much more. And it's an awesome AI toolkit for cranking out content. And now I'd love to hear your thoughts. So drop a comment about what you enjoyed in this video, any topics that you have interested in for future videos or any questions you have. So if you want to learn more about these kind of cool new AI tools and how to leverage them to make more opportunities. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Let's meet with another video. Have a great week.